Guess what? Today is a very, very, very exciting day because the walls are up. We got sheeting around the whole outside, which means I think it needs a roof. It's time for trusses and those trusses are right over there. We got them all yesterday. No way, hand a second. Day before. And today is going to be very, very calm and it's going to be wonderful to set those on top. And you're probably wondering, how are we going to set the trusses? Well, our digger Derek should, keyword, should reach all the way up and lift them up on top and then we can start setting them. So the plan is we're going to set this side first or we'll set this side over here first because the center of this is a little different. We'll have to kind of do a jigsaw puzzle to get that to work. But as you can tell, all of the walls are up and all the rooms are laid out. And this is uh, extremely exciting, extremely exciting. We, we've been trying to do this for three years. Well, actually, <laughs> we want to do it a lot sooner than that, but we couldn't actually make it work until this year. But uh, three years of planning on this house, and so far things are going together pretty well. There's been a couple of hiccups, but it's working out great. The beauty about this is this week is so calm that uh, we should be able to get the vast majority of these trusses set. Now, we're not going to do the garage right now. We're just going to, because the walls aren't up, obviously, we want to get the main part of the house done first. And then once that's done, we can build on to the garage and get those up because there's kind of a big long wall there that is a good wind barrier that might blow over. But as you can tell, we, uh, we got some Legos to put together. It's gonna be exciting. My wife and I have been trying to make this happen for quite a long time. And uh, to see it in the process of happening It's very exciting. We are we are extremely blessed. Okay, what do you guys think? Set some trusses? I agree, let's do it.
Heading over to the job site. Last night we got four tenths of rain this morning, or not this morning, last night we got four tenths of rain, which is awesome. It is so dry here. I mean, literally the air is so dry. We're almost like breathing in dust. And uh, so that little bit of rain is awesome. But the thing is, you really can't tell it rained a whole lot because it's been, it sucked it all up. Let's put it that way. They're talking a little bit more rain today, uh, throughout the day, we'll see. But Sloshers is the guys that are coming out to build my house. One thing that I wanted to make sure is these guys are doing such a fantastic job. I mean, working alongside them, they're allowing me to uh, work with them and they're very patient and understanding and they are creating a dream that me and my wife have always wanted um, so to show our appreciation I've got some swag here I got some hats oh yeah they're getting some hats and sweatshirts and I just knocked over my water bottle awesome anyways and it's now on the floor I'll pick it up later so they're gonna have some swag today because they deserve it. And the thing is, it's getting closer to winter, which means sweatshirts are gonna be very nice to have. And if you guys haven't had uh, the time to go to our store and look through our merchandise and you'd like some sweatshirts, hats, shirts, and all that good stuff, even coffee mugs, please go to farmfocus.com and uh, you will look through the store of our merchandise and if you want some other YouTuber swag, you might as well add that to the cart and then you got a bunch of uh, goodies that come your way. So anyways, just letting you guys know that um, we have merchandise that you guys asked for. So there you go. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. This house is turning into a house. A little damp, a little wet, but it's exciting. What do you think, honey? You like it? Good. She says it's, eh. it's not finished. It's a little bit of air gaps and a um, little bit of um, leakage, as you can tell. There's not really much stopping this little puddle, but it's okay. We're making do, but this is our home. Yep. Actually, no, it's 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 your home because you're the boss, so. That's right, that's you, right. You heard it. So, you see this big gaping hole right here? We have a major problem. Yeah, it's okay though. I think we have a solution. So here's our major problem that we have. Um, let me walk back a little bit, or not walk back, but go back a little bit and explain some stuff. First of all, we, been trying to make these plans about three years ago. We got the plans figured out. We sent them into the builders or the, the place that supplies all the materials and just making sure everything looks like it'll fit and work just like we want it to. From the very beginning, I saw that there was gonna be a problem. This back side of the house, which is actually facing north, the ridge line goes over like this. The front side of the house the ridge line is center with this little uh, area. And what we wanted to do is we wanted to have a vaulted room. This whole thing wants to be vaulted. The problem that I noticed is this roof line right here was slanting over so you might not have a very tall vault. Well, we have windows right above here and we have uh, doors right there. Well, I asked him, I said, how much can we get above there? My wife wants it really tall. Well, they're like, okay, well, we'll look at it. We'll see what we can do. And this is a year and a half ago. So then I kept asking throughout this year and a half, like, hey, what's it gonna be? How tall is it gonna be? Never got a solid answer. And then we finally got an answer. It's like, actually, you guys are gonna have a great vault. You'll love it. It's gonna be perfect. It'll be fine. Like, it's gonna be plenty. Well, how much is it? Well, it, it'll be plenty. It'll be what you want. Okay, well, <laughs> I didn't see the trust plan until, well, the day before our anniversary. Saw the trust plan and I'm looking at it and we've already got the walls put up and I'm just, I just, I don't see it. I don't see how this is gonna fit. I don't get it, but I'm not an engineer. I'm not one that builds houses all the time and you know, they know best. So I'm talking to builders and they're like, no, no, it should be fine. It should work out. Like it's, it's just how it is. I'm like, okay, all right. Well, the next day is our anniversary and we come in to talk to the builders real quick to see uh, how things are going 
And I asked him, I was like, man, I just, I just don't see it. I, I don't want to be one of those guys that's trying to question everything, but there's a problem. And so we sat down, I looked it over with them and talked to them about it. And then they're like, oh no, it is really screwed up. I'm like, oh, you gotta be joking me. Here's the problem. We've already got the foundation done. We've got this bump out here. <laughs> All of these trusses right here are completely junk. You can't use them. Because what they did is instead of having it vaulted like this with big windows, they put the vault like that. Major, major screw up. So the peak of the vault would be matching with this instead of the peak of the vault over here. <laughs> that really sucks. So um, on our anniversary for about two hours or so, me and my wife talked and talked and talked and trying to figure out a solution because now we are stuck with the design of this house and how this is. So my wife is very gifted, came up with a uh, drawing that looks really good. And I was looking through and like, well, structurally, yes, you could do it. Yes, you could probably make that happen. Let me talk to sloshers and we'll see what we can do. And sloshers are our builders. Well, <laughs> talked it over with them. It'll work out fine. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna build new trusses here from scratch and we can't use the old ones, but it's gonna work out great. Now here's something that was a huge, huge blessing. For whatever reason, downstairs, there's a load bearing wall and in that load bearing wall, it didn't make sense. We're trying to figure out why in the world would they have a big beam underneath this floor for a load bearing wall? So they sent this big beam that goes right above here and then you have a load bearing wall underneath it. That doesn't make any sense. So when we did the wall, Slosher's like, we don't need that beam in there. You can put it in if you want. I was like, no, let's take it out. That just sounds silly. We can put it above the garage doors, across the whole thing, and it'll work out great. Well, because of this screw up, we now have a solution that we would have to just order another beam to make it work. But guess where that big beam is? It's right up here. This is our kitchen, so it's a flat roof. The big beam is above here, that will carry the load, and then we'll build a wall up on top of it, maybe about two feet, a wall on that one about two feet, and then we'll start our vault. And it's gonna work out really, really well. I mean, what a blessing to see <laughs> that this came in and uh, we didn't need it, but as it turns out, we needed it. So that being said, we are actually very happy with how it's gonna look because the design is gonna make it way taller and you're gonna have bigger windows. The back of the house is definitely gonna be completely different and there's a bunch of trusses that we can't use. That's a shame. So there was mistakes made, it wasn't us. Um, and if you think about it, you're building your dream home and then all of a sudden you come up to <laughs> a big snag like this and you find that it, you can't have what you were hoping for. So can you imagine you just rolling with it and that's what you get and every day you walk inside your house and you're just, it's not what I wanted, it's not what I wanted. It would make you sick because you're paying all this money and you're spending all this time and you can't do it. Luckily for us, we have a solution and it is gonna be what we want. So, fun. Anyways, that is the story on that. When it's done, I think you guys might like it. It's gonna look good. All right, let's get back to work. I think we got our vault. Oh yeah, looking pretty good. So what we're doing right now is we're figuring out for the front of the house, we gotta build some fake little walls to support the trusses that go on the outside of the house.
And then uh, we'll sheet the centerpiece. And then once that's sheeted, we'll tie in those trusses to the center and then those trusses to the center and then sheet the whole thing. They're making it look easy. That's why I hired them. Because they know what they're doing, unlike some people. Yeah. Pretty sweet that we got a roof on. If you look over here, they're tying up the very center of the house so we have the nice, wonderful vaulted ceiling. And uh, yeah, those holes, the ventilation holes are kind of getting covered up, which is probably a good thing because uh, winter's getting close. We got some good weeks ahead of us, but uh, we want to get this sealed up and weather tight. Anyways, look good, right? I think so. These guys, I better not talk to them because I'm just going to distract them and they're not going to get working, you know? Over at the workhouse, and uh, got a little helper over here that's helping me. What do you got there? Okay, let's try and see. Uh, show me what you're doing. Did you get it? No. Oh. Okay. I just bang my dick. Good job, sweetie. <laughs> Anyways, I was like, Taryn, can you imagine? We're gonna be able to sit here in chairs and look out across the vast wonders out there, which is farm ground, and sweetgrass hills in the distance, and then get to watch storms roll across and all that fun stuff. And then in here, we get to look at did i say a fireplace yes okay and we're planning a TV, on that's what I said. oh and she said a tv well i think the tv's going downstairs right no upstairs too well downstairs and upstairs. oh downstairs and upstairs well maybe you need to talk to mom on that one first to make sure huh? it's okay to bring a tv upstairs because i think she wants it downstairs but we'll see when you're talking in the camera you want to make sure, let's get that a little straighter. You want to make sure that this is facing you. So when you're talking, you don't want it to move all around because otherwise it's hard for them to see. So if I'm talking and I want to be a hi, my name is Leg Arms or Taryn's dad. Oh, Scott, that works too. And uh, then you can kind of swing it around. And if you want to show them things, you turn it around. You got it? Mm-hmm. Hello, welcome back to this Welker Farms video, video, video. Here is our outside shelter. 
And here are our wood steps. <laughs> here is our upstairs. Here are the windows. And guess what I wrote? I wrote, you are the best family. You are the best mom. Is that pretty sweet? <laughs> We're working on a lot, everything, and down in our basement. We're starting to get the lights on, but no lights yet. This is kind of a fun bonding between my father and... S I was going to say son, but you're not a yeah. son, Taryn. Father and daughter. There you go. Father and daughter. A lot to think about. A lot to think about. I've been planning this for quite a long time. Well, me and my wife have been planning it. And then what I've been trying to do is make sure like all the wiring and plumbing and, you know, how is this going to be heated and radiant floor heat. And yeah, that's a lot going on in here. And it's pretty exciting. A lot to think about. Especially when I don't do this for a business or a career or a profession. It's a learning curve on many, many accounts for me, so.